Okay, we're going to get started with page one, and this is what we're building. We have this outer flap, but there's a magnetic closure here, and then we have this bottom flap or inner flap, and then we have a pocket. And this is the base page right here. So let me show you what you're going to need. So you're going to get out your page one pocket page. This is the spine side. So you know that's the spine that's going in the hinge. So get that out. And then for the bottom flap, the inner flap, you're going to cut a piece of black cardstock five and seven eighths inches tall by eight inches wide. You're going to put it in your scoreboard with the eight inch side on top and you'll score it at seven and a half inches. Fold it, burnish, and you will be putting score tape or if you use glue, you're going to be gluing it, that flap down. So that's going to be the inner, inner bottom flap. The outer flap, you're going to get a piece that's four and seven eighths inches tall by 10 inches long. And you're going to put it, so it's going to be four and seven eighths inches tall, 10 inches long, and you're going to put it in your scoreboard and score it right down the middle at five. Fold it. And if these don't um, end up exactly even, just trim it a little bit, but hopefully it'll end up pretty even. Or just fold it in half. You don't even have to put it in the scoreboard. Just fold it in half and line it up and burnish that. So put this aside. Then you're going to make an inside pocket. So you're going to cut a piece that's seven inches long and you're going to score it at a half an inch and a half an inch and then you're going to cut it three inches wide and you're going to score it a half an inch down here so you will have this inside pocket like this so again seven inches score half an inch half an inch three inches score half an inch give you a two and a half inch pocket so it'll be like this. So put this aside. So first we need to do is um, get the paper that we're going to be using to cover this back of the page one. So what I used was the 8x8 eight eight zebra paper for down here. Since this is 8.5 inches, this does not quite fit. If you want to use the 12 by 12 zebra paper, use that. That way you do not have these little um, end bits that we're going to be covering with other uh, paper. But what I did is I used the eight by eight because I like the smaller zebra pattern in here. And then I cut two pieces they're about three eighths of an inch wide from, from here, from the patterns and solids, snake prints on the back. And I cut it from this strip right here. They were down here. So I just cut this thing out and then made three eighths of an inch strip. And then I'm going to adhere it to this side one piece to this side, and then one piece to this other side. And then what you're going to do is adhere your zebra paper on top of it, but don't do that yet. It's just going to be looking like that on both sides. So you will have this look on both sides. So a little strip here, and you're gonna cut the other little strip on this side. But first, what we need to do before you adhere this paper down, real important, is we need to put 
a magnet here. So let's open this back up. Here is the magnet. I'm using this to show you there's a magnet under here. So there's here's my little strip of that paper, and that's where the magnet is going to go underneath. You need to put these papers on before you add this bottom flap. So where is that magnet? It's measure it. So the magnet is it's a from the middle of the magnet to the outside of the pocket of this page is about three quarters of an inch. And it is about three inches up. So measure three inches up, three inches up, three quarters of an inch in, three quarters of an inch in from the end, three quarters. So this is where I'm going to put my magnet. That's where I'm going to put my magnet. So go ahead and place your magnet there. So I put my magnet in and put some black construction tape over it. And I added my end pieces. These aren't the same ones because I didn't have two of these, but you put the same ones down. And I'm not adhering them completely because I'm going to be using this for another album of something different paper. And here's my my um, eight by eight cut to the same size, six and this is six and a half, so this is like six and three eighths tall, just like these end bits. And you're going to put that right down there, like that. So you have that in. And like I said, you can use the 12 by 12 zebra paper if you don't want to do these end bits. Then you're going to get your bottom flap where you scored it half an inch here. You're going to put your um, tape here or you're going to glue it down and you're going to glue it a half an inch in from the edge of your pocket page. So mark it a half an inch and that's where you're going to be putting it and you're going to center it top to bottom. So it's going to go in like this. Like that. And the other thing, and I'm sure you're doing this, is ink all your pages. You need to ink all your pages. So now we have that flap in. So now we can add our other magnets. So we have our magnet here. So you have your magnet there, and then you're just going to put your um, the mate to it here. And there, it got your piece of score tape underneath it. And then you just fold down the flap and transfer that magnet over. And hopefully it will transfer over so it did and I'm gonna pull the tape and put my black construction tape over it now put the black construction tape over it like that there so now we have our flap in so next, we are going to add, or at least I did, I added a ribbon, a little ribbon, and let me show you where my magnet is. So here's my, here's my magnet on the inner flap. And then here's the little ribbon that I added. So it's right there. Um, as long as your ribbon is right there. My ribbon is what? Three inches up. 
I think that's what I put it. My ribbon is three inches up. So that's what I put my ribbon, three inches up. And then um, put some Fabri-Tac, put some Fabri-Tac down and then black construction tape. And then you can cover up this page with this paper. This is from the Patterns and Solids. So you have this back zebra paper in, you have this paper in, you have your two magnets here, and you have your little pull tab. So you have, you have this bottom flap in, you got your magnet, you got your little ribbon pole, whatever color you're, you're using. Um, I'm not covering the back of it. I have none of that patterned paper anymore. Next, you're gonna cover this bottom flap with your designer paper. You're using this from the patterns and solids. I have none of this left, none. So cut this out and you will cut it um, like seven and a quarter, you measure it out, seven and a quarter by what? Five and three quarters, it looks like. You measure it out to cover your flap. I'm gonna use this white just to dem for demonstration purposes. That's gonna go on the bottom here. So put your red, that red pattern paper at the bottom. Oops, don't do that yet. Don't do that yet. We, oh yeah, you can, the magnets in here. Never mind. put your red paper down and I'm going to just kind of loosely adhere this down. Then what you're going to do is get this that you made and you're going to adhere it on. You can put your score tape or glue it down and you're gonna glue it in like um, three eighths of an inch from this side right here, three eighths of an inch. So it's gonna be like this, about like that. And you're gonna put that down. So now you have this card in. So you are going to put a magnet here. And then you're gonna transfer the magnet over to here. Or vice versa, it doesn't matter. So put your magnets in. And then you're going to get a ribbon pole also. Here I have a little ribbon pole right here. Magnet is, is right here. Magnet, magnet, ribbon. Magnet, magnet, ribbon. The ribbon is two and a half inches, the edge of the ribbon is two and a half inches up. This one was three inches up to the edge here. So put your ribbon two and a half inches up, it up from the bottom of this. And then th this was centered on this red paper. Once your magnets are in, your ribbon is in, then you can go back to this paper which is from the patterns and solids. And I just cut a piece so it was continuous. So you can see this is all continuous. This side is continuous with this side. And I used all the, the little, I don't know what they call them. I, I call them little white dots. They're light dots that start here and then they go over to this side. So that's what I did. I made it continuous and then just you know, obviously cut the paper, keep it away from the fold line. And I put this little half circle, I backed it on black cardstock and I put it down here. I just cut the bottom off here, here, a little tuck spot. And then this is just the card from the, um, I believe that is from, is this from the eight by eight collection? Can't believe, I can't remember if that's from the 8x8. Eight eight. It might be from, this one's from the 8x8. Eight eight. This is probably, oh, I know what this is from. 
This is from this, from the eight by, I'm pretty sure that's from the eight by eight. You'll know because it has to fit on here. So get this, cut it so it fits within here. And um, I think this is done. Oh, we still have to add the pocket. So also on this flap, I used this circle, um, backed it on some black cardstock, and then cut it so it fits in this corner like this for a tuck spot here. Here I put in the, the pocket. So the pocket is going to be covering up, it's going to be covering up that lip of this flap here. So it's going to cover up this lip. You're going to adhere that down. Make sure you adhere it, you know, a little, like an eighth of an inch away from the fold line here. When you put this pocket down, like I always do, add the back side of the pocket and then put your black construction tape under here so you make this lip a smooth, as smooth as possible so whatever you put in here doesn't hit that lip. And then you can go in ahead and adhere the sides in. And then I just covered it up with that red paper again, the same red paper we used here. And then I got this from the eight by eight right here. I used these three from the eight by eight. This one, this one, this one. And I put those in the center of the pocket like that. So this is page one is done. And then I just got this from the 12 by 12 and I just kind of put that in, in the pocket and you can make another photo mat or booklet if you want to put in that pocket.